Good morning YouTube. This is Charles. I am working with a customer sample of beans. These are black beans. I don't know if they're black turtles. I didn't ask the customer. They have impurities in them. He wants us to color sort them, but I was looking at some of the impurities and they're smaller than the beans. So these should be ran through a cleaner. Before you color sort anything, you're supposed to clean your product the best you can mechanically, whether that is on a cleaner, clipper cleaner, or a gravity table, uh, or aspirator. Uh, they should be cleaned. I have ran a small amount. We'll do a comparison here. We're going to run the whole amount so we can color sort. Using the test mill clipper, the office tester, got a 23 in the top these have nothing to scalp out I've got the wind open as far as I can they're heavy seed so we're really not blowing anything out but we are running a 11 64 uh, herringbone so uh, that gives the beans a chance to go over on edge if they have a split you can see I have some because this does not have ball cleaners it uh, the screens can blind but we're going to run, and this is what we're taking out. Uh, now, there is some black beans in here, but at the end of the day, these are small. And the splits and impurities, I've seen a mud ball and uh, some discolored small seeds that should be taken out with a cleaner first. Now, you can always go back, save these, always go back and do a re-clean with a cleaner and a size smaller screen and then color sort and have a grade two. But you're gonna see by the time I get done with this box, there is not going to be much in the discards. There might be a pound or so and that box weighs probably 30 pounds. So we're going to do a little sample cleaning here first so that the color sorter can do its work. Okay, we have the whole sample cleaned. Now, this is a lab mill with no way to clean the screens, so I stopped a few times and cleaned the screens. These would have been bounced out with balls underneath or brushes. And so we have the clean sample now. There's still some color impurities in there, but we concentrated our impurities over here. We had fines and splits and yes there is some good black beans in here but you can go back after this we'll revisit this later you would clean your semi load and you want to clean it hard and get the best of the best over there in the bucket then you go back and make a grade two and sometimes the grade two will clean up and become grade one with changing some screens and going through the color sorter once or twice. This is how I would clean it. You can take it for what it's worth. But you can never run bin run grain over a color sorter and expect good results from the color sorter. If you're going to do that, you're wasting your time. You've got to have a seed cleaner at least ahead of it. And other machines might be beneficial too. But a seed cleaner might be adequate. It depends on the lot of seed you are using. We have 27.6 pounds of clean seed here. And then we will look and see what impurities that we are going to color sort out. Here's one right here. 
Now granted, this would have came out with a machine with top and bottom air and uh, screen cleaners. That's a immature light seed top air would have sucked that out. So because we're using a lab cleaner, we can get it only as clean as possible with that. There's a different brand of bean here or an immature that we will program to color sort out. But these now are ready to go through a color sorter. We have out of that, that was 27.6 pounds. I already subtracted the bucket. It was 2.6 pounds of dirty. So you can see uh, there is good beans, but there's the small shrivelly ones, the splits. This color sorter ain't a split remover. You got to have mechanical machinery to get your splits out. And there's just all kinds of small, shrivelly ones. Now you can go back and reclaim some of these if you want to spend the time, but save them all up. Get the get 80% of your seed cleaned and out the door in the bag. And then if you want to go back and do salvage work, you can, or you can salvage work and then reblend. That's up to you. But you can't take bin run seed. That's the point that I'm trying to make here, and run them through a color sorter. Okay. Taking pictures of the accepts that we want to keep. My son is running the camera. He's waiting on a trigger. We drop a bean in this crack up here. It slides through the machine and it takes a picture. So we are filling it up with pictures of good black beans. That is a full load right there. We got all 20 with good pictures. Now that we have all of our accepts in there, I hit cancel because I'm filled up. But I also hit save. Sample saved, but I also hit create profile. It says, are, is all the sensitivities created? I say, okay. And then it does the little Tetris thing. And then it talks about rejects. But So I have what we cleaned with the office tester cleaner. And I'm able to concentrate and find my rejects faster. I have them here in this. So we'll begin to program uh, rejects. We're going to go to rejects one and then we're going to ask for a frame grab so I will begin to drop the undesirables through the machine waiting for another trigger this is before we're even running product through just takes time for you to set it up and once you have this set up then you will always have this program in there unless you delete it and then you would have to recreate it so you want to keep that in mind um, Sometimes you can, once you program it, and if you're going to do this crop continually, it's saved in there. However, from year to year, colors and conditions can change on your seed. We have plenty in there. It will only use the first uh, one, two, three, four, five as a basis. But all these other ones help it create what I was told by the trainers, a fence. Kind of gives it more data, but it's going to use those first five as rejects. So we're going to save those now. They're saved. We're going to create the profile. So now we will go to create our rejects number two. 
you have area and you have spot, the way I understand it. I am not an expert, but I have been running one of these since 2013. I know what works for me. If Sataki, you stumble across this, feel free to correct me. I'm going to put the defects in once again. My second rejects slot. And of course I will do the same thing. Save, create profile. I went over here to sorting sensitivities. I can play with my sensitivities there. I have my rejects. I always do a lot of saving. It's the way I do it. And uh, right up here, I save because it ain't showing my sensitivity settings, so hopefully it has them. Okay. There they are. If you don't have them there, it won't sort. So then I, I do a lot of saving. I go back here. I save. Now I'm going to select it. I'm now selecting it. We should be good to go. We should have our goods. We should have our rejects. Accept and reject. So we're looking good. Here, we will go to home. Okay, I had to uh, work with a Sataki rep because at first, on reject one, which you can unplug it here and see which reject is working the best, was throwing all the black beans out the front as rejects right down here in the bucket. So what they explained to me to do was I was looking at spot. I am not an expert on this, but I've worked with them some. And I call tech support. They have really good tech support. Reject 1 was looking at spot. I had to get it over here to where it was looking at more pixels right there and move it over to there. They had a better term than I'm telling you. And then I had to open its window width to 13, both up and down, height and width. And then I had to go to this sort over here and turn up the pixels instead of looking at three pixels or five turn it up to 50 so that's what I did to solve that problem so then I will go back to this one and I will disconnect by sliding it over. It's like a flash drive on the touch screen. The reject two, and we will do a sort. And you will see, we'll just do one cup. You will see, as Samuel puts one cup in there at the topper, that it's firing slowly, and it's separating. You can see, you can see the little speedometer is moving, little blips, and it's separating things out. And we're getting a pretty good sort right here. Now remember, this is not a split remover. I want to note, we'll shut this off, the more we handle these black beans, the more the outer skins come off. <laughs> you can see them there getting in the machine and here now the machine is programmed to clean itself like if we were running continuously it would shut itself down and it would clean itself to make sure there's none of these skins on its eyes and it can't clean that that's stuck to the mylar but the eyes and the lights it would clean so Every day you start, you ought to clean the eyes yourself with wet Windex and a um, really soft cloth. You don't want to scratch the glass. Now we are going to sort the sample. We have rejects here, clean grain there. 
It'll take both of us because Samuel's feeding it, and I will make sure the buckets don't overflow. We have the sample sorted and this is the sample. Now the more we handled these the more splits we had. The gentleman said they were old beans. I don't know how dry they are. I don't have a moisture tester out here. So that's pretty good. There's a split still and then there's this that it probably would get. and. So this is what we got today for the testing to show the customer. This is what the machine, we will bag this up and send it to him. This is what we took out with the color sorter. FMS 2000 2015 model made by Sataki. And we could set and keep playing with all the controls and tune it in probably a little better. But we want to get this sample back to our gentleman that maybe wants to buy this good used machine. And that's what we're going to go with.